now we have a look about enzyme mechanisms. Uh, there are two particular models that you need to know in A-level. Uh, one is called the lock and key uh, model, the other one is called the induced fit. So we have a think about the first one first, the uh, lock and key. Now this particular model, I'm sure you've heard about it in GCSE as well. So we say that um, if the enzyme is locked, that can only fit a specific key, a specific substrate. So for example, if we have amylase, which breaks down starch, these two will fit. However, if we have uh, proteins instead, it will not fit the right uh, lock. Lock and key is specific about the fact that it's rigid and means that it has to be a perfect fit in terms of the shape and also the angle in which it collides in. Imagine that there are different enzymes and substrates flying around. It, for the reaction to actually happen, it means these two bits here have to collide at a perfect angle, in which case it's quite difficult and, uh, and it doesn't explain how certain enzymes can have such a high efficiency. So later on, people proposed the idea of, uh, of an induced fit mechanism. In this particular case, we say that when the enzyme, when the enzyme and the substrate, as they approach one another, the enzyme's active site will change its shape slightly in order to fit the substrate perfectly. So for example, in the lock and key model, this is what you need to happen in order for the reaction to occur. So they have to fit in perfectly in, in some particular angle. Whereas induced fit, let's say the enzyme is originally like this. So kind of looks like that. And it doesn't really, it won't be able to fit the, uh, the substrate. However, as the substrate approaches, what then happens is it will then change its shape slightly in order for that to happen. And that, rather than a perfect collision, is more uh, plausible to explain the hyper efficiency. Nowadays we have different papers and research that uh, supports the induced, fit, the induced fit model, so we focus more on the induced fit rather than the lock and key nowadays. This particular enzyme is a perfect example of that because it is one of the most efficient enzymes in the world uh, with a bottleneck entrance, however that's where the active site lies. Uh, we have found different things, so a particular amino acid sequence uh, arrangement around it, it pulls the substrate in and it changes the shape slightly in order to fit the substrate through. So if you're interested in that one, particularly about neuroscience, that will be a great example to think about. Uh, just an extra note about an, uh, exam uh, sort of keywords. It's good to use words like obviously enzyme is a key one, substrate is another one. When we say that the enzyme and the substrate is bound together, call this the enzyme substrate complex and you usually get a mark for saying enzyme substrate complex is formed and uh, quite often in textbooks you might see a short form shorthand which is called ESC as well.